What's up, everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with an early review. Before we get into today's shoe, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, I need you to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker we're about to look at. And I also need you to sub up to the channel if you haven't already, because once we hit those 1,500 subs and we're really close, we'll be doing a giveaway. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Now today we got an early review. This sneaker is set to release uh, in May. Oh, uh, like May the 18th. Oh, that's a uh, significant day in my personal life. I graduated high school on that day umpteen years ago. But uh, this sneaker is not receiving a lot of hype. It is a WM. NS, if you get my drift, it is one of those type sneakers. So here's the box, white uh, box. You see that gold Jordan jump man? Look on the back, you got the jump man right here. And here is that box tag. There you go. I'm gonna read it out loud. It says WMNS Air Jordan 3 Retro, and the color is white. Varsity Red, Lucky Green. This is a women's size 9, men's size 7.5 in US. We got a fold over box lid. Uh, look closely right here on the inside of the lid. You see that lot stamp. And look at the paper. You do have white paper with gold 23s all over. And you also have plain white paper with the gloss on one side and a little rough on the other and I'm looking inside the box for a YCM sticker and I do not see any YCM stickers in the box so this is pretty much what we get with this uh sneaker let me know your thoughts about it but this is the box let's get into the review Yes, guys, Rejuvenate is the number one sneaker cleaning uh, product out there. And you do have that stain repellent Rejuvenator right there. It does protect against all dirt and grime. It protects your sneakers from getting ruined. And in addition to having that, they also have additional products. They have the mink oil. The mink oil, you want to spray that on your, your black suede sneakers, such as the Bread Fours, the Raptor Fours. And these right here, the Thunder Force. It keeps the sneaker from having that ashy look and it gives it that rich look. And it works just like the uh, stain repellent. And you can also use it in conjunction with that. I recommend holding it about eight inches from uh, the sneaker. Spray a coating on there. As such, make sure you allow time to dry. And make sure you are using this in a well ventilated area and this is how you do that and you allow it at least 15 minutes to dry but me myself I'm gonna let it dry longer than that and then I'm gonna come back and hit it with that staining water repellent before I actually wear the sneaker here we go guys we have the WMNS Air Jordan Retro 3 in the lucky green colorway let me know your thoughts on this sneaker here you go a first look at the sneaker what's your guys thoughts on the sneaker my first thoughts on it I'm a little disappointed and I'll tell you why later in the video now you see this sneaker we have some nice tumble leather on the upper you have white on the entire upper of the sneaker for the most part and you have your uh, molded eyelets in the uh, lucky green colorway right here and up here you got white molded eyelets right there and you do have a smooth leather right here on this part it's very smooth like high comb born through nappy hair okay you got your uh cement at the uh heel or the elephant print i should say at the uh toe and the heel right here looking at the midsole you do have an aged look or that sail color right here on your midsole and you do have a, a lucky green going on here as well 
Now you do have an air housing right here, clear bubble, white on the inside, and you got a little bit of that tech gray at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. You got a uh, lucky green hit right there. It does say Jordan right here, University Red, and you have that age look as well, or that sail color on the very bottom right there, and you do have tech gray on here as well. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, and this is where I'm disappointed at. We have Tech Gray Jog Man. I'm sorry, Jordan Jump Man and Air on the back. I'm like, I thought this shoe was called Lucky Green. Why is this Jump Man and Air in Gray or Tech Gray? Can somebody answer that question for me in the comments? Not sure why. It's not Lucky Green. I thought that was the name of the sneaker, and I thought that's the thing that we were going with. But moving along on that back tab, it's still white. And nonetheless, it is the color that it is. And you have more of that elephant print going around the heel and that lucky green going around coming from the other side. As we take a look at the medial side of the sneaker, you do see the molded eyelet in the lucky green colorway. And right here as well, you got the white eyelets right there as well more of that nice soft tumble leather for the most part threes have pretty good leather on them i can't remember a pair of threes where the leather was just crappy uh if you guys can remember that uh put that in the comment section i'm not sure if that has ever happened but uh looking at the midsole you got that age look that sail colorway or creamish going on there along with that lucky green and it's going around your air housing clear bubble white on the inside as we get to the toe box take a closer look and you do have that thick cut on your uh elephant print it takes up almost all of the mud guard the white under the mud guard anyway and you do have that wheel peak right here at the tip and before i show you guys that toe box that's getting here it does come stuffed with this tissue and here we go guys let's see how this leather looks on the toe box pretty good leather and you got a nice uh nice soft tongue white all the way up to here nice and soft then you got that straight leather and you have a woven patch in the university red colorway jaw and jump man comes with only one set of laces you got the white flat laces and you have a white sock line so uh make sure you wear white socks only with these so you don't stain them i almost need a white glove on with these with these chocolate fingers this is your uh <laughs> this is your size and tag in the back of the sneaker tongue and i'm gonna read it out for you uh this is a women's u.s size nine and the production date is August 11th of 2022 to November 24th of 2022. So about three months of production with these. And you do see the inside of the sneaker. You have a white sock liner. I'm also, you have a white uh, insert with a University Red Jordan Jumpman on the inside. Yes, guys, this is the only thing that comes extra with these. You do get a uh, hang tag, translucent and uh, lucky green with the silver chain and no extra laces. Not sure how these would look with uh, lucky green laces, but I'm sure Jay the Sneaker Guy is going to take care of that if he haven't made a video for these already. But uh, I don't know. So that's pretty much the sneaker. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Will you be trying to get these when these release in May? May the 18th is what the date is as of the time I'm recording the video. So that's what it is. Sizing with these. For you uh, men that have the small feet, make sure you go 1.5 up in your size if you intend on getting these because these are sized in women. But they also have the men's size on the box as well to guide you. But, uh, as far as the on foot, the on feet fit, I should say, excuse me. 
I normally go up a size in my uh, Jordan 3s because they do run snug, in my opinion. If you like your uh, sneakers right on your toe and snug, by all means, buy that size. But I, Titanic Fee Jack, recommend going the size up. And if you uh, can go a half a size up, that'll be great. The reason that I go uh, one full size up because I am not afforded that opportunity to go a half size up. But this is the sneaker, the WMNS Air Jordan Retro 3 Lucky Green. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section. And I'm just going to end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know. Well, it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack, signing out.